Thanks for stopping on our channel, which is dedicated to central heating. And as you can see, I've been doing this a long time. We may have a situation where we've got the radiator suddenly gone cold. It worked last year uh, or in the winter and now it's autumn time, switch the heating on and all of a sudden it's not working. Well, it could be because somebody's put the valve here, the sensor onto snowflake or number one or number two. And that effect has, it pushes a rod down into a piston and closes off the valve and the radiator will go cold the trouble is we don't recommend that in any shape or form all you're going to do is create a couple of problems one that room will go damp and smelly which is not acceptable and two by turning off this radiator you increase the pressure of the other ones and the pump doesn't like high pressure and especially uh, if you haven't got an automatic bypass that will definitely Definitely have an adverse effect and you'll start getting sludge and in the sealed system that shouldn't happen so what we can do is this we can turn the valve on to full press the green eco button in and then remove the sensor by just undoing the nut it should only be finger tight so there's no need to use any tools so we just undo that and put it out the way and then I found WD-40 is possibly the best thing, but the one with the spout. And what we're going to do here, don't touch it, just spray WD around this spindle. Obviously, we're going to have kitchen roll or, or some sort of paper around there to absorb it. And then just let that work in for a second or two. Uh, this is not a rush job. And then all we can do then is to just gently see if we can just push it down just push it down a little bit to get that WD further and then maybe put a drop more and then push this down a bit further and see if, if the spring doesn't pop back into place uh, hopefully with the sensor off because remember these are air sensors so there's no air sensor here it should now pop up and the heat should now go through another method that you could do is maybe turn off all of the other radiators and just leave this one and maybe a large one or something just turn all the other ones off and just make this one the focal point and so the pump has to go through here that heat sometimes may dislodge the um the stuck spring which is the problem uh, but remember if you've got it here you may have it other way so always avoid turning off these trvs into snowflake or one or two three would be the minimum i would leave it on you need heat in a room um, finally another tip is do not pull that pin out because a lot of trvs that holds a piston and if you remove the spindle the piston will then shoot up and then water will go from here and hit the ceiling no problem at all because this is high pressure this is one bar or even higher so don't be tempted to lift that up or anything else what you could do is to just give it maybe a sharp tap a couple of times maybe a bit more of wd-40 etc and see if that doesn't make the spring pop back into life and hopefully nine times out of ten that's all it needs and if you're doing this one you might as well do all of the other radiator valves that have got trvs on because they'll have the same problem because they're all the same age as we always say so don't just go one and think all the others have been brilliant for years uh, you'd be mistaken so i hope this is giving you some hints and tips on um thermostatic radiator valves and uh, this repair is a very easy one doesn't need an expert at all just a little bit of sequence and this video will show you and has shown you exactly what to do if you have one of these old-fashioned white valves then definitely get rid of them and replace them for balancing trvs and if you've got one of these normal thermostatic radiator valves changing for balancing trvs the three top makes that i would recommend are danfoss drayton honeywell home the reason is that balancing trvs make the system more efficient and cheaper to run and they are the latest version of a thermostatic radiator valves so the sooner we all move over to these
the more we save. For more information on balancing TRVs, please look at this video that I made a few months ago and I can explain in much more greater detail. So thanks for watching and take care.